Blog Talk Radio. Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to the clean and sober community. Hey, hey, good morning. John Hollis with Waking Up Plus. I want to welcome everybody to the show this beautiful Tuesday morning up here in Tallahassee hanging out and uh, get to uh, carry a message of uh, hope, strength, and most importantly, uh, experience. And uh, the guy we have on this morning, uh, Will Grayson, is going to do just that for you. He's going to talk about his history in recovery and uh, you know the inspirational story behind it. But most importantly, if you're listening to us for the first time, it is about starting our day with inspirational stories of experience, strength, and hope. And I want to thank Sober Map app for making that possible. You can check out Sober Map app by going to SoberMap.com. You also want to uh, thank uh, Amethyst Recovery Center, who is the uh, recovery media partner for Rockers and Recovery, one of them. And uh, if uh, you want, you can also check out the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration out of Washington, D.C., SAMHSA, and also Music Cares, the MAP Fund. And uh, there's, uh, of course, other information on the pages that you're listening to right now. And if you're listening on the Facebook page at Rockers and Recovery, please do us a favor. Go up top and click on the sign-up button for the Waking Up and Blessed newsletter. Uh, we're working diligently to uh, you know, get that number of recipients up to 100,000. If you can uh, sign up and receive the newsletter, uh, it's got some great information in it, stories uh, in the news, uh, we have some great videos that we highlight and, uh, of course, uh, upcoming guests, past guests, information about uh, Rockers and Recovery Radio and Waking Up Less. So there's all kinds of information in there. So sign up for the Waking Up Less newsletter right at Rockers and Recovery on Facebook. And you can also go to rockersandrecovery.com to find out all of this information. Rockersandrecovery.com has been around uh, for many years, and uh, we started, of course, Rockers and Recovery Radio back in 2008, and we have been diligently uh, putting the information out there as best we can over the years. Uh, Will is somebody that was on one of our shows, and he actually did a show on Rockers and Recovery Radio called Angels Side by Side. That was back in 2009, 2010, and uh, Will's a great guy and just a, a great message of hope and uh, you know that's all i can say about will at this point will welcome to the show glad you could be with us hey hey how you doing how you doing johnny so far so good brother it's a beautiful day we get to wake up blessed any day i get to wake up blessed i know god's given me a gift (laughs) so what's that what's waking up blessed mean to you what does that mean to you each morning when you wake wow. up and you start your day? What does that mean? Well, I get the opportunity when I wake up to pay God back for the precious gift he's given to me. I get the opportunity to share this precious gift with others. You know, uh, I'm in the business, and I say business because I get paid with spiritual currency of helping save and changing lives. And that's my purpose. That's what I wake up to each day. That's my focus. And that's my life. So that's a blessing because I can remember uh, less than 30 years ago, 29 years ago, I was in a shooting gallery. Mm. I was smoking crack. (laughs) And I didn't go to sleep most of the time. And I would not wake up because a lot of times I would be up and not even realize what day it was. So the blessing is today I know what day it is. I know what my purpose is and uh, uh, the connection of people that I have in my life, including you, uh, are people that continue to uh, bless me by just believing in me and allowing me to be part of this uh, precious gift, like I said, of, of life uh, associated with the universe and, and helping people save their lives. You know, um, this is a gift here, Johnny. I mean, you've been doing this for years. I mean, uh, reaching out and uh, helping folks that maybe can't get help 
or mm. don't have finances for help. And, and you've been helping people uh, for many, many years, man, you know. I think I started with you all the way back in the beginning, and you're still doing the same thing. And that's a blessing. So I'm just you know, glad funny, to be was, part of the blessing. You know, it's funny because I was thinking about... You know, when I had, when I had given you a call to come on, you know, the whole waking up blessed thing is to really enhance and show people that there can be years of sobriety that people have, and and they have to continue to be diligent about their recovery. And I, you know, I've been really selecting a lot of people. Like last month, we had like over 900 years of continuous recovery that came on the show. We we're on the show, you know, on the air now five days a week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. to 9.30. So, you know, that being said, you know, when I, when I called you, you're somebody that works the program and really, truly helps others. And the message that you carry is a pure message of hope and, and love and, and, and grace, you know. And one of the things that I wanted to ask you is, you know, part of the show is about the daily routine. What are some of the things, if a newcomer was listening or somebody was out there and they were struggling with, you know, getting on the beam, the spiritual beam, what are some of the things in the morning that you do to get your day started? Oh, man, that, that's a great question. I get up each morning before my feet hit the floor. I've already fell to my knees, and I just say two or three words, to make that connection with that power, that source, and I just say thank you. The next thing I do is diligently is I read my morning meditations. That sets the day or the theme of my day. And after I read my meditations, which I read seven, and it's funny, seven is like my spiritual number. Uh, okay. G, I believe, is the seventh letter in the alphabet, which you can correlate that with God or you can correlate it with good, but if you take one of the zeros out of good, it's God. But yeah, I correlate mm-hmm. it with God. And then after that, I jump in this shower. Well, no, I don't. I do my little walk because I'll, be, uh, I'll be 69 uh, September the 12th, so uh, I just do my little walk, and I just started doing that lately. And then I come back, and then again, I – get ready to go to work and you know and I work in the field and all that stuff and then I go I go to work and then I I uh, I spread that good news and we read the Jets for today uh, and I have the the, the, uh, the clients that I work with read whatever they want to read that's spiritual for them and that's how I start my day and if you're new just like using you have to I don't know if you have to but what I have to do is I have to have something that I practice routinely because I practiced Mm. routine when I got high. It was a routine. I mean, I went out, I got high, uh, then I found out that I had to lie, steed, and chill to get more. That was the routine. Then once I got more, I had to continue to get more. I mean, it was a routine, and it was a daily routine. So my recovery, John, is parallel to my using. Everything that I did when I was using, I do in recovery. I went through more changes than Indiana Jones to get a bag. So <laughs> I bring that same, I bring that same attitude into recovery. Just like I hustled out there, I hustle in here. But the hustling I do in here is again helping save and change lives, and and being a part of a fellowship that has the power to save and change lives wherever fellowship you go. Uh, be it church, be it the 12 step programs, uh, be it therapy, go somewhere where you can actually get some type of help to organize your thoughts and to organize your day and have your day become a routine. Uh, and some days I miss the mark, and I get the opportunity when I miss the mark to start the day all over again. I don't I have it, to man. stay in that between. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, 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 I say that to newcomers all the time, man. Just just go go to meeting. Go somewhere just and make that a routine for yourself. Because, uh, I'm so glad you know, that you brought that up. You know, that, that part of, 
you know, like nobody's perfect, man. We all or we all run into those daily issues and struggles. You know, um, Matt Gladder said, you know, somebody told me that you don't get to pick up, and that's the most important thing today is that you just don't pick up. But as you're going through your day, you're learning how to process your day and become somebody new in recovery each day and learning how to, to work the principles and the steps and then be somebody that you weren't when you were out there and you were ripping and running. So when you're going through your day and you run into those issues, well, you run into that, you know, that that moment like oh boy here we go how do you how do you handle that do you like take a breath do you pray what do you do when you hit adversity yeah well I, I'm a strong believer you know in taking five minutes uh, to organize my thoughts and and say a prayer and make that connection with the source you know I'm a firm believer in that I I, I believe beyond the shadow of a doubt. You know, that the universe is in line with my belief system, uh, and God is definitely a part of what my belief system is. I also believe this. Uh, those that kind of make meetings regularly, they stay clean, but they don't recover. Because if you want what we have in, in order to recovery, if you want what we have to offer, are willing to make the effort to get it, and effort means work, then you're willing to take certain steps. These are the principles that make recovery recovery possible. So my commitment again is parallel to my listen, I was I, I was committed to shooting dope and smoking crack and all that. That was my commitment. And I was good. I was good at it. I was so good at it that I managed to keep myself alive when I really was trying to kill myself. You know. So uh a prayer for me, just like an apple a day to keep the teacher away. I'd like yeah. to, that's my little thing. An apple a day, a prayer a day to keep the disease and the devil away from me. You know, that was a really good question because a lot of times, again, you know, and what I understand even from the question, we all fall short. And what what do we do when we fall short, you know? Uh, you know what? And I'll say this to you personally on 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 air. And when I say this, this is my story, and it's your story too. And I know you on a personal level, and it's part of us and what we always connected to. And my connection with you, chumps get knocked down, they stay down. Mm. Champions get knocked down and they get up again to fight another day. And I know you're a champion because I've been with you throughout the years. And we've both been knocked down on this path, but we haven't stayed down. We got back up to fight another day. So that's what the whole recovery process to me really means, man. Each day is a different day, and each day I got to get up and it's a fight because I can, at a bat of an eye, I can take my ego back and I could run for the hills. I could run for the hills. And I know that I have to be prepared for that. But I always liked that. And I heard that somewhere I can't really remember. And I said, wow, that's me and most of my friends. Because most of my friends I know, all of them had struggled in different areas. But all of us never gave up. You know what I mean? We yeah. never gave up. We continue to get back on the bike and ride again. You fall off the bike, you get the fuck back on the bike. I'm from New York, so it's a bike. If you're from the south somewhere, it might be a horse. But if you fall off, <laughs> you get back. <laughs> you, 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 you get up and you get back on and you start riding again, man. So it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Each day is a... Uh, a lovely day. You know, one of my friends, who's your friend also, he sent me a little picture, man. And the picture he sent me mm -hmm. was this little baby uh, dying from starvation, right? And wow. three feet from the baby was a buzzard standing there waiting for the baby to die. Wow. And the caption underneath it said this. It said, if you have a dollar in your pocket, Will, 
in some parts of the world, you would be considered a millionaire with that dollar in your pocket. So when I get spiritually retarded and I think I want to leave and I'm a victim and I'm all of this, I go to my phone and I pull I pull that phone I pull that picture up and I look at that picture and the friend of mine who's a friend of yours who sent me that picture is a millionaire. He's got money, property, prestige. He's gotten all of that stuff, Hall of Fame, you know the whole thing. And I said to myself when he sent me that picture, I I, I texted him back. I said, Yeah, surely you said that to me. I mean, you're a millionaire. But I was kidding with him. But all he was saying to me is the spiritual fund abundance that you have today, the spiritual currency, uh, and the integrity that you have. You just can't put a price on it. And if you just keep doing what you do each day, you'll get what you get each day. You know. So I stay on the path of God. You know. I heard this years ago, right? I heard mm-hmm. this. This is my mantra, and I say this to the newcomers. Chop the wood, carry the water, trust God, and help others. That's my life. Chop yeah, the something, wood, man, and it just water. keeps it simple, doesn't it? You said something earlier. Yeah, isn't that, that really, really? Isn't that yeah, simple? Chop the wood, yeah. carry. And, and, and I, I, I got an old <laughs> guy told me, that I'm from New York, I'm from Harlem, you know this, you know my story. Mm-hmm. And that God had put me together with this guy from Mississippi, a white redneck from Mississippi, <laughs> chewing tobacco, the rebel flag, the whole thing, right? And um, he put me with this guy to show you the sense of humor. This guy taught me everything I needed to know about recovery and more. When he died, we went up to his funeral, and I was able to – he was a Vietnam vet – I was able to give the flag to his to his family. His his uh, wife and his parents wanted me to take the flag and give it to them, uh, not the honor guard. And his mm-hmm. name was Mike, and he used to have the, the chew tobacco, barefoot, the whole thing. And I would say, God, how can you put me with this guy? I can't even relate to this guy. As a matter mm-hmm. of fact, I was taught to hate this guy. Mm-hmm. And... To show you how God works, uh, he became my mentor, my best friend. I talk about him in my story. He was the one that really pulled me into the program and gave me the program and told me to stand up, shake hands, make sure when I shake a hand, I shake a hand firmly. I look the other person in the eye, and I tell them the truth. And my mother used to say the same thing, and I used to say, well, I always tell the truth, and she would say, no, you don't tell the truth. Just remember that when you tell the truth, you're telling the truth for them. Mm. And then it becomes your truth. So that, that's kind of my story. Like you, I met you, and uh, not from Adam, you automatically embraced me and welcomed me into your heart and made me a part of this whole thing that's grown enormously over the years, and I'm Ever great, gave me my own radio show. I mean, come on, man. That's God. That's yeah. the God in yeah. you. Yeah. Well, and you know something, you man? Know? I think, you know, it's all about working. I see, like, a lot of changes. And it's unfortunate in some cases, but you know something? Overall, I, I believe that, you know, a true love coming together and, and being able to go out and. You know, and and help others together as as a pack, um, so to speak, is is yeah. is a really cool thing to do. And Absolutely. you know what I mean. I think that I think you said it earlier, and I was in a meeting uh, last uh, last week, actually last Friday night. <laughs> I was in this meeting, and this guy said something, man, that was like profound to me. And I've heard it before, but it was so profound at that moment that it was like, wow, this is exactly what I needed to hear. And it was, ego is not my amigo. <laughs> so wow. when no, that's you, really is that good or what? I was just like, yeah, that's wow, phenomenal. Like, I liked it. Ego is not my amigo. So 
when when I start to think that I have anything really to do with this, you know, it, you know, I got to realize that my ego is not my amigo. God's large and in charge, and He's dealing with a lot of the things that are going on around me, good or bad. You know, I, you know, uh, if it's in uh, health issues or sickness or you know. It may be, you know, even good things. You know, when good things start to happen, we can screw them up too, Will. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, there's yeah, a lot of yeah, uh, yeah. But a lot of a lot of things that uh, we get to cross, you know, uh, our paths with each day, and how do we deal with it? You know, at the end of the night, you're, you you know your nights. You uh, you know, what do you do then? Do you do you say some prayers at night? Do you thank your God? What do you do? When your day is over, and you know, by the grace of God, you made it through another one. Oh man, you know I thank God, man, and I I make sure that I cover all my bases, that I didn't hurt nobody today, and mm. I do my little amends and my little inventory, my eleven step inventory every night, uh, because again, the goal is to become more uh, uh, efficient on my spiritual conditioning instead of, you know, my ego. But I thank God every night, man, just to be alive. I, I've been through a lot of stuff since I've seen you. I've had a heart attack two years ago. Uh, mm. I got on the Avoni oh. for the hepatitis C, and that didn't work. So, oh, wow. you know, uh, I had to wait another three years, uh, and they came out with this new stuff, and I got on that, and, that, and that's worked. So, again, I allude back to... You know, never giving up, never giving up and throwing in the towel, you know. And uh, I, I was petrified and, and a lot of fear when the Havoni didn't work. And uh, I thought, you know, well, I'll, I'll, and the doctor said, well, uh, there's nothing I can tell you. Well, this is what we have now. You'll have to wait until they come out with something new. And I was like, well, I've been waiting for this for 10 years you know, I'll have to wait, and then, then I, of course, got negative and started planning for my funeral and, you know, the whole thing. And my boy said, listen, man, just live for today. Just worry about what's going to go on today. And believe me, if you can make it through today, uh, you'll have a chance tomorrow to do the same thing and make it through tomorrow, but just stay in today. And I did that, and guess what? Three years, four years later, they came out with the new stuff. I took the new stuff, and my hepatitis C is undetectable. So, um, wow, cool stuff. Once again, Very God. Cool. Yeah, once again, God shows up. You know, mm-hmm. God's in charge. Uh, I'm in charge, and I and I believe that. And people around me, I couldn't do it by myself without you guys around me. And I have a lot of people around me that some days when I don't care enough for myself, they do. So, you know, that takes it to another level. Uh, you said it best when you said if if the newcomers out there are listening, just make a commitment to show up just for today. You don't have to show up and say, I'm going to do this the rest of my life. Just do it for today, you know, and then just keep doing it. And before you know it, you'll have 30 days clean and then maybe six months and then a year then two years, then five, then ten, then twenty. I'm coming up on twenty nine, and you couldn't have told me that I would have been here twenty nine years ago when I got here, because I just wanted to stop using and go back and use differently. Yeah. Use something else. Learn how to grow. learn how to use correctly. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> that's right. Learn how to use correctly, and uh, and something happened. You know, along the way, God got in touch with me. You know, I remember I was walking down this street, right? Dark. Yeah. All of a sudden, this shadow jumped out of the bushes. And I confronted the shadow. I looked at the shadow. And then the shadow became me. It was me that jumped out of those bushes. And I sat down and I had a conversation with me that I hadn't had in years. So no longer does the shadow jump out the bushes today. The shadow walks high with his head up high, and he walks around, and he reaches out, and he helps others. And his life has changed in those dynamics. You know what I mean? Sometimes I feel a little perplexed, 
you know, um, uh, with things that happen with politics and all the rest of the stuff that's kind of going on. But I also know that. (laughs) I also know that that's a phase that we're going through at this time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, conquers. Conquers love and love is God and God is love. So we're just going through a little phase now, a little skirmish over here and over there. And uh, there's freedom on the other side. We just got to stay and stay on the path and continue to lead by example. You know. Good stuff, Will. You know, um, in closing, we're coming to the end of the show. I want to thank you for being on Waking Up Blessed this morning and being a part of Waking Up Blessed and Rockers in Recovery. And all that you've done with us, you know, I was just uh, looking back, 2009 was your first show with us. And, um, yeah. you know, right after that, was uh, you brought on Daryl Strawberry and a few other folks. It's been an amazing ride for all of us. But one of the things that I wanted to tell our, our listeners is a very funny story. I got diagnosed with uh, diabetes, and that was back in, like, 2013. And... Uh, you know, I call Will up. I'm like, Will, you just diagnosed me with diabetes. I need a doctor. So Will goes, man, I got the doctor for you. So I go to the doctor. I love this guy. I fall in love with this guy. I hate doctors. you got to know that I hate doctors. I hadn't seen a doctor in 10 years. I'm with the doctor for a month and a half, and he dropped dead. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Frank, God, right? I said, oh, God, please, <laughs> can you man, find me Dr. another one? Frank, that's... <laughs> he was the best, man. That's funny. <laughs> I love that guy. He was great, man. Yeah, <laughs> so, Dr. in the Frank, meantime, me that's a little bit of sick, morbid humor at the end of the show, but i got to tell you, it's things like that that happens in recovery for me that, you know, I get to pick up the phone and I say, hey, listen, this is where I'm at. And somebody like Will directs me to where I need to go. Now, you know something? Right after that took place, I called somebody else, and they directed me to somebody else. And you know something? It was all good. Everything worked out. And in the end, that's what this is all about, us helping each other and getting through another day together. You know, and, and you know, today I get to start my day with Will and have a blessed day. Will, I want to thank you for being on the show. Absolutely. Give the wifey a kiss for me and give my boy a big hug. Tell him I said hello. I definitely will, man. Chris loves you. All right, guys. Yeah. All, All right, right, man. man. We thank you, Will. All right, brother. Okay. Thank you, man. Bless him. Peace. Namaste. Namaste, dude. Rockers and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our guests are not necessarily those of Rockers and Recovery. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry, we were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right, ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchases, over prohibited by law, 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.